As we're reading through the Psalms together in clusters, groups of Psalms, today we're considering Psalm 21 through 25. And, and the five Psalms before us today, they're a treasure chest of prayers, praises, and reflections. In Psalm 21, David is praising and thanking God for the victories he's experienced. And for us, he points us to God as the ultimate source of blessing and victory. Psalm 22 is a powerfully expressive psalm of heartache and hopeful trust in God. And interestingly, it's known as a messianic psalm, meaning it foreshadows Jesus' death on the cross and his resurrection. Psalm 23, probably one of the most well-known and loved of all the psalms, shows us God as the loving, caring, capable shepherd who provides and protects his people. And in Psalm 24, David is proclaiming God's ownership of everything that's been created and calling all who belong to him to walk with him in holiness. And lastly, in Psalm 25, it's a genuinely heartfelt prayer of David's for guidance and help and direction. You know, the book of Psalms is one of the best sources of biblical inspiration for our devotional and prayer lives. They're designed to enrich our relationship with the Lord. And as we close today, I want to read to you that Psalm, Psalm 23, one of the most beloved of all the Psalms we're considering today, and I pray that it encourages your life. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters, he restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you're with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. And surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Thank you.